Hello everyone, Jim Roy here with Lux Manor Real Estate. What is jointly and severally liable? Well, when you sign a lease with other people, you are committing to the landlord that each of you and all of you are responsible to repay all the money due under the lease and cover any actual damage beyond normal wear and tear that occurs to the property during your tenancy. So this is why landlords are often very careful as far as with whom they'll sign a lease. They're giving them the keys to the property. That tenant is control of the property for a year or more. And when the landlord gets it back, he's going to want it back in roughly the same condition. If he doesn't, then the landlord can come after each of the tenants individually or the entire group at the same time. All right, hold on. I'm going to go full on dad mode for this one. So when you sign a lease with some other people, get to know those people before you sign the lease, because if they don't have futures ahead of them, but you do, and eventually you want to buy a house and you don't need a judgment on your credit for something you didn't do, maybe don't sign a lease with that person. Find out their credit score, know where they're going in life, because the landlord, he just wants to be made whole. And if he can go after one person, even if they didn't do the damage, he'll go after that one person get a judgment against each of them. And until he's paid off entirely, that judgment is going to affect everybody living in that house. So think twice before you sign a lease with somebody, make sure that you know them and that you all kind of have the same goals in life. If you like the quality and efficiency of this video, contact Deluxe Manor Realtor the next time you're ready to buy or sell a home and remember to like and subscribe.